What is up guys? It's your boy Eric Lewis back with another video and today we're diving headfirst into the wonderful world of Linux. Maybe you're brand new to this whole Linux thing or maybe you've been rocking Windows or Mac for years and you're just curious about this open source operating system everyone's talking about. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the top five Linux distributions or distros as the cool kids call them that are perfect for beginners especially if you're concerned about cybersecurity and privacy. We're talking about distros that are not only secure and privacy focused, but also super user friendly. So buckle up, smash that like button for the algorithm, and let's jump right into it. First up, we've got the big dog, the one you've probably heard of, even if you've only just started looking into Linux Ubuntu. Now, Ubuntu is kind of like the gateway drug to the Linux world. It's super popular, especially for beginners, and for good reason. Think of it like this. If Linux distros were cars, Ubuntu would be the Toyota Camry. It's reliable, it's user-friendly, and it just works. One of the things that makes Ubuntu so beginner-friendly is its graphical user interface, or GUI. See, a lot of people think Linux is all about typing commands into a black screen. And while you can totally do that if you want to, Ubuntu gives you a nice, clean, and intuitive desktop environment that's going to feel familiar even if you're coming from Windows. And speaking of familiar, Ubuntu's got a massive software library, so you'll be able to find Linux versions of a lot of the applications you already know and love, like Firefox, Thunderbird, VLC, and even Steam if you're a gamer. They've got a really cool app store called the Ubuntu Software Center where you can find and install all kinds of software with just a few clicks. Now let's talk about security. Ubuntu's got you covered there too. They've got a built-in firewall, regular security updates, and a focus on using well-maintained and secure software repositories. Plus, because Ubuntu is open source, it means that thousands of developers around the world are constantly reviewing the code, looking for vulnerabilities and making it more secure. It's like having a global army of cybersecurity experts watching your back. Ubuntu also comes in different flavors or variations, each with its own desktop environment and set of pre-installed software. So if you're not a fan of the default GNOME desktop, you can try out Kubuntu with KDE, Subuntu with XFCE, or even Lubuntu with LXQT, which is super lightweight and perfect for older machines. Overall, Ubuntu is an excellent choice for beginners who are looking for a stable, user-friendly, and secure Linux distribution. It's got a massive community, tons of support resources, and it's really easy to get started with. Next up, we've got Linux Mint, another super popular distro that's known for being incredibly user-friendly and easy to install. Seriously, if installing an operating system was an Olympic sport, Linux Mint would be taking home the gold. One of the things that sets Linux Mint apart is its focus on simplicity and familiarity. It's designed to be easy to use right out of the box, even if you've never touched Linux before. In fact, a lot of people who switch from Windows find Linux Mint to be a really smooth transition because it comes with a lot of familiar features and layouts. Linux Mint also comes with a bunch of pre-installed software, so you don't have to spend hours hunting down and installing all the essential apps you need to get started. We're talking web browsers, office suites, media players, you name it. They've really gone above and beyond to make sure you have everything you need to hit the ground running. And just like Ubuntu, Linux Mint is also big on security. They've got a strong focus on privacy and security, with features like a built-in firewall, automatic updates, and a curated software repository that's known for being safe and reliable. They've also got this really cool tool called the Update Manager, which makes it super easy to keep your system up to date with the latest security patches and bug fixes. Linux Mint comes in a few different flavors, each with its own unique desktop environment. You've got Cinnamon, which is their flagship desktop environment and is known for being modern, elegant, and super customizable. Then there's Mate, which is a more traditional desktop environment that's lightweight and fast making it a great option for older computers. And finally, you've got XFCE, which is another lightweight desktop environment that's known for being very stable and responsive. No matter which flavor you choose, you're getting a solid, reliable, and user-friendly operating system that's perfect for beginners. 
Chapter 3, Zorin OS Bridging the Gap Between Windows and Linux. Alright, so maybe you're thinking, okay, Ubuntu and Linux Mint sound great, but I'm really used to Windows and I'm not sure I'm ready to give up that familiarity. Well, my friend, have I got a distro for you, Zorin OS. Zorin OS is specifically designed to make the transition from Windows to Linux as smooth as possible. Seriously, it looks and feels so much like Windows that you might even forget you're using a different operating system. They've got a version called Zorin OS Lite that's specifically designed for older computers. So even if you're rocking a dinosaur of a machine, you can still enjoy the benefits of Zorin OS. Now you might be thinking, hold on a second, if it looks and feels like Windows, does that mean it's not as secure or private? And the answer is a resounding no. Zorin OS is built on top of Ubuntu which we already know is a very secure and stable foundation, so you're getting all the security benefits of Ubuntu, but with a more familiar look and feel. But Zorin OS isn't just about looks. It also comes with a bunch of pre-installed software that's designed to replace your favorite Windows applications. We're talking LibreOffice for your productivity needs, Firefox for browsing the web, Thunderbird for email, and even Wine, which lets you run some Windows applications directly on Zorin OS. And speaking of software, Zorin OS has its own software store where you can find and install thousands of applications with just a few clicks. Overall, Zorin OS is a fantastic option for anyone who's looking for a user-friendly and familiar Linux distribution, especially if they're coming from Windows. It's got a great balance of features, performance, and security, and it's incredibly easy to use. Chapter 4, Elementary OS, the Apple of the Linux World. All right, so far we've covered some great options for folks who are used to Windows, but what if you're more of a Mac person? Well, my friend, let me introduce you to Elementary OS, the self-proclaimed fast, open, and privacy-respecting replacement for Windows and MacOS. Now I know what you're thinking. A Mac replacement on Linux? Get out of here. But seriously, Elementary OS has a very Mac-like aesthetic with a clean, minimalist desktop environment that's both beautiful and functional. They've really nailed that Apple-esque attention to detail and it shows in everything from the sleek icons to the smooth animations. But Elementary OS is more than just a pretty face, it's also built with performance and security in mind. They've got a really tight focus on only including essential software, which helps keep the system running lean and mean. And because it's based on Ubuntu, you know you're getting a solid foundation of security and stability. One of the things I really appreciate about Elementary OS is their commitment to user privacy. They don't collect any personal data, and they've even gone so far as to remove telemetry from the operating system. So you can browse the web, send emails, and do all your computing knowing that your data is safe and secure. Now, because Elementary OS is all about simplicity and minimalism, they don't have a ton of pre-installed software. But don't worry, they've got their own app store called the App Center, where you can find and install a curated selection of high-quality applications. Overall, Elementary OS is a fantastic choice for anyone who values beauty, simplicity, and privacy. Chapter 5. Fedora, the bleeding edge of Linux. Last but not least, we have Fedora, a powerful and versatile Linux distribution that's known for being on the cutting edge of technology. Now, Fedora might not be the first distro that comes to mind when you think of beginner-friendly, but hear me out. While it's true that Fedora is often favored by developers and system administrators, it's also a great option for anyone who wants to experience the latest and greatest that the Linux world has to offer. They've got a really strong focus on innovation and incorporating new technologies, so you're always getting the most up-to-date software and features. Now, one of the things that makes Fedora stand out is its focus on free and open source software. They're really strict about only including software that meets their high standards for freedom and openness, which is great for anyone who's passionate about supporting open source development. Fedora also has a really active and supportive community, so if you ever run into any problems or have any questions, there's always someone there to help you out. They've got tons of online resources, forums, and even IRC channels where you can connect with other Fedora users and get the support you need. And let's not forget about security. Fedora has a really strong track record when it comes to security, with a focus on proactive security measures and quick security updates. Overall, Fedora is a fantastic option for anyone who wants a powerful, versatile, and up-to-date Linux distribution. 
So there you have it, folks, our top five Linux distributions for beginners in 2024, especially if you're all about cybersecurity and privacy. Whether you're looking for something familiar like Ubuntu or Linux Mint, something sleek and modern like Elementary OS or something cutting edge like Fedora, there's a distro out there for everyone. The best way to find the perfect distro for you is to try them out for yourself. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which distro you're most excited to try and be sure to subscribe for more awesome Linux content. Until next time, stay safe, stay private, and keep on rocking in the free world of Linux.